We have an arithmetic sequence. The sum of the seventh and eighth terms is 60, and the sum of the eighth and ninth terms is 76. Find the common difference for this sequence. For an arithmetic sequence, the difference between two adjacent terms is the same. Now let's list the three terms given in the problem. We have the seventh term, eighth and ninth. So the sum of the seventh and eighth term is 60, and the sum of the eighth and ninth terms is 76. By looking at this, it seems that the eighth term is more important than the other two terms, because the eighth term is involved in both relationships, the 60 and the 76. And the difference between these two terms is d. And the difference between eighth and ninth term is also d. So we can use the eighth term like a bridge to connect the seventh and ninth term. Let's let the eighth term be x. Then the ninth term, because this is an arithmetic sequence, is x plus d. And the seventh term would be x minus d with d being the common difference. Then we try to write out this relationship. The seventh and eighth term add up to be 60. So we have x minus d plus x equals 60. And this is the seventh term. This is the eighth term. And for this relationship, we have x plus x plus d equals 76, with this being the eighth term, and x plus d is the ninth term. I'm going to present multiple ways of solving this equation system. Now let's simplify these equations first. This first equation, the left-hand side, is 2x minus d. 2x minus d equals 60. And for the second equation is 2x plus d. 2x plus d equals 76. Let's call this equation 1 and equation 2. Now if we have two equations and two unknowns, we can solve for these unknowns. In this problem, we're only interested in the common difference. We don't care what x is. We want to find d. The first way of solving any equation system is using one of the equations, let's say equation 1, and express x in terms of d, and then sub it back to the other equation. Because we used equation 1 to generate this relationship, we sub this into equation 2. Then because x is expressed in terms of d, equation 2 now becomes an equation with one unknown only which is d, and then we solve for d. Let's see how this goes. So from equation 1, we have 2x equals 60 plus d, and then x equals 60 plus d over 2. We sub this into 2. We have 2 times 60 plus d over 2 plus d equals 76. This cancels out. 60 plus d plus d equals 76. 60 plus 2d equals 76. 2d equals 76 minus 60. So 2d is 16. d equals 8. So the common difference that we want to find is equal to 8. We can also solve this system by observing some relationships, some number that's easy to cancel. From the first equation, we have 2x and 2x here. So let's move these d's to the right-hand side and leave 2x on the left-hand side. So the first equation becomes 2x equals 60 plus d. The second equation becomes 2x equals 76 minus d. Now 6 plus d is equal to 2x. 
76 minus d is also equal to 2x. So we have 60 plus d equals 76 minus d. Add d on both sides, 60 plus 2d equals 76. Subtracting 60 on both sides, 2d equals 16 and d equals 8. A third way of solving this system is by observing that we have minus d and plus d here. So if we add the two equations, d would be cancelled out and we know x. Once we know x, we can sub it into one of the equations and then solve for d. So 1 plus 2, we add up the left hand side, it's 2x minus d plus 2x plus d equals 60 plus 76. Now minus d and plus d cancels out. We have 4x equals 136 and x equals 34. If x is equal to 34, we sum it back to equation 1. 2 times 34 minus d equals 60, 68 minus d equals 60, so we have d equals 8. And the fourth way of solving this system is by observing that we have 2x here in both equations, and we're interested in d, so we try to cancel out this x, and we can cancel x by subtracting one equation from another. Let's do equation 2 minus equation 1. The left hand side of equation 2, 2x plus d, minus the left hand side of equation 1, 2x minus d, equals the right hand side of equation 2, minus the right hand side of equation 1. Because there's a minus sign in front of the parentheses, so we need to change sign when we remove the parentheses. So 2x plus d minus 2x plus d equals 76 minus 60. Now the 2x cancel out. 2d equals 16. d equals 8. I like the last solution the most because we want to find d, and this is the most direct way of finding out what d is. Thank you for learning with us. Do you have any questions or comments? Please let us know at massexpress.com. Happy learning.